Let me drink the shot of tequila and then I'll lick your neck. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton. I'm a humble narrator. And here we are, back again, on the deck of the SSN. Some of our pokes are hurt a little bit, but I think we can persevere. I'm gonna push him to the limit. Party's over, the ship will be departing soon. Well, like I have a ticket, can I be on it? Hey matey, let's do a little jig. All right, you first. Do you know many jigs, Sailor Edmonds? Where did you learn these jigs? I have so many questions. Oh, after that shit with the victory bell last episode, I am not fucking around <laughs> with this thing. Um, yeah. Mr. Freeze, do the thing. Shut this shit down. I don't give a fuck. Reflect. That's a pretty good move, pretty good move, except I have Blizzard, which hits the special side. Oh, god damn it! Oh, god damn it! Is he using poison power? Oh, god! It's disgusting! Alright. That's really quite foul, but I think one Blizzard should be able to knock it out. It shouldn't take too much damage out here. If it hits, yes, destroy it! Ooh, it's dead! Yeah, totally. Obliterated. Thank goodness. I don't like it none too much. And he's got a ride on as well. So let's bring in... Oh, we'll do Clam Slam. I don't know. His health is really fucking low. Can he live a ride on's attack? I don't know. We'll use Water Pulse. Maybe they'll kill it in one hit. Unless he's got Sturdy or some shit like that. Nope. Nothing. Nothing doing. You're done, son! Go home, kid! Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Alright. Sailor Edmund, you're done. I'm impressive. That's right. You fucking recognize. All of a sudden. Whoa! Who's poisoned? That's right. Somebody's poisoned. Can't have that. Mr. Freeze is in relatively good health. That poison could have tore him up. Yes, sir. And Elvis is actually a lower level than Clam Slam. And I've got this thing where I have to keep them all the same level. I don't know why. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? Scrubbing decks is hard work. You scrubbing it with your feet? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Alright. <clears throat> I suppose I should go back and, uh... Oh, there's more cabins and shit. That's right. Hey, buddy! I've journeyed far and wide, but in all my travels, I've never seen any Pokemon sleep like this one. It was something like this. Yep, that's a Snorlax for you. Unfortunately, I don't think the Snorlax is actually going to be a Snorlax when we finally do encounter it. <laughs> so, that'll be interesting. Let's battle these fools. Hey, fools! Check out what I fished up. Um, okay. I'm interested to see what you have fished up. Eradicate, yeah. Rats can swim. <laughs> and Elvis is actually a pretty good matchup. So yeah, throw some fucking rocks on top of that bitch. I don't give a fuck. Radicate's so cute. Oh my god. He really is one of my favorite Pokemon. Top 10 favorite. Number 10 is Radicate. I should link that video if I remember. If not, somebody will yell at me in the comments eventually maybe. Or go find it for themselves. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, it's fine. He's got a Raichu, which uh, I actually am pretty resistant against too. And it's another rat, so yeah, I guess it can swim and possibly you could have fished it up, maybe. Hopefully not. Who threw their Raichu in the water? That's really, really mean. It's electronic components could fucking fry or whatever. It's like inorganic electronic, but not really. You know what I mean? Because it's in a video game. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. HOLY SHIT! And he's got a Manectric. Wow. He fished up a lot of fucking electric Pokemon. I don't think Manectric the Lion Pokemon was fished up though. I think that's the Pokemon he used to battle the Pokemon that he allegedly fished up. There's more to this story than meets the eye, is all I'm saying. I think this guy's fucking lying to me, and I don't appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, go ahead. Kill his Manectric, Elvis. Shove his mouth full of peanut butter sandwiches. Peanut butter sandwich. Mm, baby. Mm-hmm. Alright, that's a level. 
Wonderful! I think Elvis is pretty even on stats too, yeah. He needs to uh, evolve into a pupitar. I would like him to be a pupitar. Nope, not yet. But he's still got some fighting spirit left in him. So let's see what this old feller say. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Good for you. I'm glad you found your way instead of like, you know, diet and exercise. You could just fight young people. I beat up preschoolers for the same reason. People think I'm being mean, but it's like, no. This just keeps me young! <laughs> Alright. I'm scared of a water attack from a whalemer against my ground rock type. So I'm gonna send in Psilocybin, who actually resists rollout as well. Um, we would have resisted the rollout just fine with Elvis, but it's fine. Anyway, this happens. Yeah! Oh, it's so good! Fuck, his attack's so high. Mmm. That rollout's not gonna get going enough to really, uh, hurt anything on my team. So, sorry, old man. Not quite enough with the Whalemur there. Although, I like- I like the enthusiasm, you know? Good match. I feel young again. Ah, oh, me too. Totally. Let's touch each other's wieners. Is that not what you did when you were young? I got a lemonade. Goddamn. That's shitty. Not a good random item. Hear the police? They're coming for me. Um, alright. Elvis is still good to go. I have seen some Pokemon fairy people across the water. That's amazing. Small trees can be chopped down using cut. But remember this. Cut is an HM technique. Once learned, it is not so easily discarded. I know. That's why I don't really want to ruin one of my Pokemon with it. You can make a rule for, like, HM slaves and shit. Because, obviously, I don't have anybody that can fly. Except, uh, maybe fucking Golbat. <laughs> if, if, uh, I find a place for him eventually. I want that item. What the fucking item? I don't believe I saw you at the party. Well, no, you didn't. Because I don't go to whore parties with whores. <laughs> oh, you got a Porygon. We can be friends. I'm sorry I said that that whore shit earlier. I don't even know you, really. And he traced Gus. Guts. That's all right. We should be able to smash Porygon up pretty good. And then maybe she'll be impressed. Because women are impressed by violence, no matter what they say. <laughs> Here we go, Rock Slide, yeah. I didn't think he even touched us. What was that? I, he's got a cradley. I can't really hit that shit too well. Uh, maybe Clam Slam could do it. Or Mr. Freeze. Psilocybin will work too, he got a fighting move. So we'll go ahead and send him out there. I believe in him! He's gonna be so good! This is a rock grass type cradley. Really a freaking super powerful Pokemon, especially if you give it like stockpile and recover and toxic. Super super devastating. And apparently worth a good a lot good amount of XP as well. Hooray! 80 fucking attack. Ah! Hey Silzami, you killing me, bro. Dude. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Make me OP as shit. Alright, we're still good to go. A little gas in the tank. Gotta keep checking that status. Which do you find more worthy, a strong Pokemon or a rare Pokemon? Uh, usually they're both. Like, if it's rare, it's usually strong. You know? He's got a Jirachi! He knows what he's talking about! Holy fuck! Um, fight it? He uses rest. Okay. That's fine, I guess. That's not really gonna do much. How about Screech? Yeah, good. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, go to sleep. I'm gonna screech and lower that defense just a little bit so I can uh, hopefully three-shot him or whatever during his rest period. Really, I think only three screeches will de drop its defense all the way. Thank God, bite. Bite is a dark-type move. Or else I wouldn't really be able to hit this. Should've taught Elvis dig. Then I'd be able to hit it for super effective damage. But, uh... Mm, I'm not that bright, apparently. Holy shit. Swift. That's all right. We're gonna do some more stuff here. Don't you worry. Yeah, it's not its not as effective as I would have hoped. Oh, there's a special attack. Oh, buddy. Please don't crit me. Don't do it, please. All right. We need something that's gonna hit harder. He does have confusion. 
I guess Mr. Freeze. I don't know. It's a fucking Jirachi, bro! <laughs> it's got stats up the ass! Uh, we'll keep on biting. Swift is never gonna miss, so I won't worry about double team. Thank god it flinches. I thought it was just gonna rest up and fucking have me in this fight forever, but... No! It is merciful. Thank goodness. Oh, he's got a Wobbuffet. We know what we've got to deal with Wobbuffets. Da 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 da! Super Tranny! <laughs> Super Tramp. Alright. Get that sub up. And actually, he's gonna know we don't have a special and physical attack anymore. So yeah, he's just gonna start using Mirror Coat. And hopefully we'll be able to, to whittle it down through substitutes. And... I mean, I did buy some super potions, so... We'll see how it goes. He's using Destiny Bond, that's just fine. As long as I don't crit him next, next turn, it should be okay. But I do want to keep the pressure on him, because... My substitute is still up for free since he used Destiny Bond. Okay. Now he uses Safeguard, good. Safe to kill him. Awesome! So we worked out that Wobbuffet relatively well. As long as we avoid the first mirror coat. Mm hmm. I'm scared of him no more. Mm hmm. Although, if it was a set match type, which I think I talked about a few episodes ago, I would be extremely scared of it. <laughs> Alright, good money from that old man. And a dragon fang. Mm hmm. For upping the dragon type moves that we don't have. Um. We've got a little more gas in the tank. How many more rooms do we have? Just a couple. Alright. We'll push it out here. Me and my daddy think the Safari Zone is awesome! I wish we could go there again! Have you gone to the Safari Zone in Fuchsia? There are many kinds of rare Pokemon there. Well, I can only catch one, and it's probably gonna run away. But thanks. The captain said he's awfully sick. He was all pale. Is he white? I hear many people get seasick. Yes, myself included. Oh, thank God, heal my Pokemon, so, oh, yes. Okay. Now we're ready to go beat the shit out of our rival and, uh, talk to that Cap'n. Hey, Cap'n! Let me say some words to you. You're old! An old salt, and that's my favorite kind. Let me drink the shot of tequila, and then I'll lick your neck. What? <laughs> All right, we gotta switch Acorn to the front since he's been, uh, a bit, sh a bit troublesome. But you're dating! Aw, oh, it's fucking sun! How unexpected! <laughs> Imagine seeing you here! Dayton, were you really invited? So how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal! Different kinds are everywhere! Crawl around in grassy areas and l look hard for them! Well, I'm not allowed. You see, I'm doing this thing called a Nuzlocke run. Never mind. Fuck you, show me what you got. <laughs> He's got a Tangela! Level 19. That's formidable! I get the free fake out though. How you like that, son? Yeah. And his he his name really is Son, so I'm not being disrespectful in any way. Growth. Uh, growth would be a lot more powerful with Sunny Day up. Oh, he's gonna growth up too. All right. Well, I guess um, nature power it is. And it's still swift on the boat. That's just fine. Decent hit. I want to see what Mega Kick will do, though, because that's the Haymaker. Haymaker, son! Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, fucking Sleep Powder. Are you kidding me? Kidding me, bruh? Hey, bruh, are you kidding me? That's all right. I'll just let him do his fucking stupid crap. What are you going to do? Oh, that's right. Uh, Acorn has early bird, so he wakes up super early from sleep. It's only like a one or two turn sleep. So fuck yeah, high five, little buddy. I knew you were worth worth something. I told them all. I told them all. <laughs> they said, take him off your team. I said, no, he's good. And he wants to learn Torment. Uh, I don't think so. Don't, don't do that. No. You learned an attacking move. Please. He's got a Zubat. Not too scared of Zubat either. Send him the Clam Slam. He got that Aurora Beam, kid. Fuck yeah, gonna do the thing. Thank God there's no Why Not on his team to just fucking jib the first Pokemon that I have out again. 
That was super mean last time. I miss Chip, even to this day. On this version, the randomized version, there's um, an addition that allows you to let Pokemon that wouldn't normally be able to level up in your version, like, evolve. So even though I won't ever be able to trade uh, my Graveler to somebody, it can still level up. I think it evolves into Golem at, like, level 36 or some shit, which is a super cool addition. Um, so yeah. Clam Slam, Dust Tox, Aurora Beam, etc. And I'm, I'm shutting this team down pretty good. Nothing's really given me that much trouble, although I haven't run into any extreme Pokemon quite yet. I do wonder if his little buddy has evolved. Uh, his Tyrogue, yes, that is what it is. Mm -hmm. And Protect, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. I Rock Slide. Shigado! Yeah! So good, so tasty. Fuck yeah. And, uh, it should be, yeah, his last Pokemon, I believe. It's still a Tyrogue. Hmm. Well, that's, uh, unfortunate, I suppose. But that's fine, also! I don't really care. <laughs> Get out there, Clam Slam. We'll fuck this thing up. It's what it wants. Aurora Beam! See, these are the, the two veterans of the team facing off, since Squirrel is no longer with us. Ah, oh, it's so sad. I, <laughs> I miss him so much. Probably would have evolved him into a Flareon. It would have been so cool. <sighs> Humph. At least you're raising your Pokemon. That's right. You didn't get nobody this time, did you, prick? <laughs> I heard there was a Cutmaster on board, but he's just a seasick old man. Cut itself is really useful. Yep, it'll be handy. You should go see him too. Smell ya. Um, okay. I took a shower, but if you want to smell me... Yuck, shouldn't have looked. <laughs> oh, I feel hideous! Oh, seasick! Dayton rubbed the captain's back. <laughs> Pokemon Center. Oh, phew! Thank you, I'm feeling much better now. You want to see my hidden cut technique? I could show you my prized cut technique if I weren't so ill. I know, you can have this. This hidden machine. Teach cut to your Pokemon. And you can see it cut any time. All right. Fuck yeah. Now we could get to Lieutenant Surge's gym, and then we could get to the Rock Tunnel. And are we supposed to have picked up Flash somewhere? I will be bumbling around in the dark in the Rock Tunnel, but I might even remember it well enough to uh, navigate it. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. This has been Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. We shall bid farewell to the SSN. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends. Bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.